This is ridiculous. What is it? I keep getting all this spam and I can't get rid of it. Well, have you set the junk mail filters? I think so. Yeah, but every time I delete something, I, I, I just get more. Watch. See? Okay, okay, let me have a try. Can I? Okay, yeah, uh, please. Oh, okay, great, great. All right, there we go. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> These are the nasty viral ones. <laughs> Whoop, there's one. I know, just keep getting these. Whoa! Okay, now they're coming around, here we go. Yep, sorry, sorry. There, yep, just. <laughs> you know, I, I think you're just gonna have to trash them. All. I was afraid of that. Mm. Yeah, that's what you do. Oh, hey, hungry? No. I was hungry. I'm Brandon. I'm John, and welcome, welcome to, to the So and So Show. We are so glad you decided to hang out with us today. Yeah, that's right. We have one humdinger of a show for you today. Somebody say humdinger! Ah, Leonard. Oh. Uh, Leonard, please welcome someone who knows stuff. For those who may have missed the last time you were here, why don't you tell everyone who you are and what you know? Uh -oh. <clears throat> I am Leonard Fortescue and I am a professional metal detectorist. Mm -hmm. I use Camilla here, 
to find anything lost, hidden, or sent to another dimension. If it's gone, I can bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what brings you here today, Leonard? Oh, I got gifts. Oh, gifts. Yes, so yes. give me, give me, give me, give me. Ah, stop. Uh, hang on a second. I got to explain. <clears throat> As you know, mail gets lost all the time. It may have gotten sent to the wrong address or fallen off the delivery truck or porch pirated right off your doorstep, even though you were waiting on it. And then you had to step inside to go to the bathroom. And then you get a text message saying it was delivered. And then 40 minutes later, you go back outside. And when you get back outside, it's not there anymore. <clears throat> not to say that's happened to me, but it does happen far too often. And... The gifts? I don't know. I'm getting there. Hang on. And sometimes I am employed to find such lost delivered objects. But by the time I have located the wayward items, they have unfortunately already been replaced. So then I am allowed to keep the newly recovered products. So guess what? I'm going to share them with you two. Whoa. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, you're welcome. <laughs> so, so, so where are they? I'm not just going to give it to you. How much fun would that be? We're going to play a game. We're going to play What Lost Delivery Items Are In The Box. Here's how the game is played. You two will simply put your hands in the box and feel around. Go ahead. And feel around until you can identify what's ever inside. Now, if you name the object, you can claim the object. You both will stick your hands in at the same time because you got to work together to give me the answer. You got it? Yeah. yeah. You ready? No. no. Perfect. It's time for the first lost delivery item. What are you doing? I'm just waving my hands. Oh. Now, since you cannot see in the box, no. I will give you a clue for the first one, okay? Okay. Here's the first clue. <clears throat> you can find these in your yard, but don't step on it for goodness sake. It could be just lying there because it's a... Oh. Yeah. Oh. All right. So now... Wait, 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 gotta... wait. Are you serious? You put... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you put a, non, a garden Hold variety, non-venomous... Yeah, it's non-venomous. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it, it's completely safe. Yeah, I, I hold them all the time. I hold them all the time. It's fine. Okay. All right. Go ahead. I'm going to count to three. You stick your hands in. I don't know. One... Two, three, stick your hands in. Uh, I don't feel I, I can't do it. I can't Come do it. On, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, uh, you got, got it? it? I got it. What is oh. it? What is it? What is it? I got it. It's, it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rake. Oh, that's right. <laughs> See? My, that's, my, that's my little nieces. She uses them to rake up all the snakes in the yard. Yeah. See? All right, we go. We're going to move on to the next one. Okay, I, I don't have a clue for this one, so you guys are just gonna stick your hands in That's there. That's great. On the count of three, here we go. One, two, three, go. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, 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 is it moving? Yeah, uh, no, it's not, it's not moving. Oh, it's a pine cone. Ah! That's right, it's a pine cone. Oh. Yeah. Who delivered a pine cone? Uh, well, <laughs> what I'm gonna do after, I, 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 I'm gonna go put it in my yard with all the other pine cones. That way it won't feel lonely. Okay, you ready? Yeah. I'm not, no clue, here we go. One. Two, three, stick your hands in. Oh, oh, uh, uh, feathers, feathers? No, it's not feathers, it's a fruit, it's a uh, 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 pineapple. That's right, oh, it's a it's pineapple. pineapple. <laughs> That's awesome, yeah, you're really good at this, yeah, I'm terrified. Fruit, fruit RS, they lost a whole truckload of them, like 2,000. Whoa. Uh, yeah, I ate 500 of them though. What? Yeah, but you know what's weird about it is the only part you can eat is the top. It's good flossing, but the, the bottom part tastes nasty. Okay, now you're gonna have to really feel around for this one, all right? <laughs> okay, here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three. Ooh. Did you find it? Oh, wait. Ooh. It's a bowl. It's a bowl. Yes, but it's more. There's something in the bowl. Mm. Oh, that's ah, my hand. It's my hand. It's my hand. Oh, no. What? Wait, wait, wait. No. Oh, it's furry? No. Oh. No. Is this a bowl of worms? It is a bowl of worms. Yeah. Barney's bait and tackle. Oh, gross. <laughs> oh, uh. you got Sandy. This is Sandy. He hey. named them. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh. Hey, Sandy. Uh. Well, it's weird that I called her Sandy since she doesn't actually like sand. She likes dirt. Uh. 
No, and yeah. Dirt, Dirty is not a good it's, name. No, it's not. So I call her Sandy. You look so cute, Sandy. Don't. No. What? <laughs> All right, we can move on to the next one. There's put, more? Yeah, put her back in there. All right. All right, here we go. Put your hands in on three. One, two, three. Oh, it's a bowl. It's another bowl. That's okay. right. That means there's something in it. There is something in it. That's my hand. Okay. Ah! Oh, what did you just put on my hand? <laughs> Whatever's in this bowl. Oh! It's delicious! It's Come on. No, it's fun. It, no, why, do, why are my eyes closed? <laughs> I don't know. That's a good point. <laughs> Is this, is it oatmeal? No, I don't it's like oatmeal. It's cold, it's cold. It's cold? Cheese, cream cheese. Cottage cheese. Cottage cheese, that's right. That's my breakfast. Yeah, uh, a whole delivery truck of that got lost too. It's the weirdest thing. All these yeah. delivery trucks just keep getting lost. Oh man, you guys did great. Look at all this wonderful stuff you get to have. I bet you always wanted a, a plate of worms. Yeah, I can't say that it ever crossed my mind. Yeah, thanks. Mm. Yeah, absolutely lately. <laughs> you know, I also found a big old box full of money, but I didn't know how to turn it into a game, so I just gave it to Kellen. That was very generous. Yeah, you know what they say, if you ain't giving, you ain't living. <laughs> and it's always good to give with a good attitude. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, that it is, Leonard. That it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That it is. It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Hey, what have you got for us today besides money? Yeah. Actually, money is a part of what we're going to be talking about today. More specifically, we're talking about being generous with what we have. Oh, uh, well, then take it away. You might not know this, but some people get really grumpy sometimes when you ask them to give their money or their stuff away, even if it's for a good cause. Well, why is that? Maybe because most of us feel like we never have enough. Well, whether you have a little or a lot, that shouldn't change how we feel about being generous. Let's look at this verse from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7. Each of you should give what you've decided in your heart to give. You shouldn't give if you don't want to. You shouldn't give because you are forced to. God loves a cheerful giver. This verse was written by the Apostle Paul. And it's interesting because it's not what you'd expect someone to teach about giving. Paul didn't write, give everything you have and live off locusts and honey. Instead, Paul wrote that God doesn't want to force you to give. God wants you to decide what you want to be generous with and give happily. This can look different for all of us, but what should look the same is our heart when we give. To see how this might play out in your life, let's check in on our friends, Becky oh. and Bethilda. Huh? Ooh. Huh? <laughs> Give a toy? Oh, of course they would put this right outside of a toy store. Now I feel guilty and have to give a toy. Ugh. I guess I could give Bear Bear. But, but I just bought Bear Bear. I don't wanna give Bear Bear. Why are you making me give away Bear Bear? No! No! Oh, I bought this for my brother. I could give this away. I am such a generous person. Go me! <laughs> wow. I mean, no one said Bethilda had to give a toy. Did she end up giving something? I guess, sort of. But is that how God wants us to give? No. Sometimes it might be better if we didn't give anything. Well, let's see how it goes for Becky. Oh. Oh. 
Give a toy? Well, that was really smart to put the donation table outside of a toy store. <laughs> well, I did just buy two toys. I think Bear Bear's my favorite. Oh, well, this is tough. I, I bet you could be someone else's favorite too. Mm. Have fun, Bear Bear. And that's giving and not feeling like you have to. When you're generous with what you've been given and excited about giving it, God loves it. Why don't we give Becky and Bethilda another go? Yeah, Mom, I'm dropping off the bag right now. <sighs> oh, hang on a sec. <laughs> Gotta go, Mom. I need to post this pic. Giving with a happy heart. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag generation generous. <laughs> <sighs> I hope she bought me some too. You know, I had really high hopes for Bethilda at the beginning. Then it just kind of went off the rails. When you start to put your own needs before others, there's no way you can be a cheerful giver. Okay, well, let's see how Becky does. What? Toaster tarts? Oh man, I love these things. Mom hasn't bought them for me in like forever. You know what? I'll just add them to the next shopping list. Someone left a half empty box of cereal. And cereal is what they need most. I think I can run to the store after school and buy some more. <laughs> Thanks for letting me help. Hashtag more cereal for the win. <laughs> now she knows how to give. Great job, Becky. Let's check out the verse one more time. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give. You shouldn't give if you don't want to. You shouldn't give because you are forced to. God loves a cheerful giver. It's not about how much you give, it's how you give it. When you give with a cheerful heart, you can point people to God who is the giver of everything, including the greatest gift, God's son, Jesus. Hey, you, you know when it's hard to be a cheerful giver? Hmm. When you're worried about what others get. Oh, yeah, and worried about what you didn't get. Yep, it isn't always gonna be easy to give cheerfully. We're gonna need God's help for sure. And think about this, you never know when you might make someone's day by giving something away. By the way, wouldn't you wanna trade a, a bowl of worms for what Leonard gave you? Hmm. Would you? I actually would have traded. I love those things, but I already gave the play money to my nephew. Oh, it was just play money? Yep. <laughs> That's very generous of you, Kellen. Thanks for the story. Anytime. John, do you think you're more like a Becky or a Bethilda? Oh, I, I, I'm not sure. I mean, I like giving, but I also really like cereal. That's what I thought. Reveal the question. Oh, how do you feel when you give, John? Oh, it's an incredible feeling. I mean, I think about when someone has given something to me and how special that made me feel. And when I give something to someone else, it's even better. Yeah, so true. I don't know if I've ever regretted giving. Hmm. It always feels good to me. Yeah, what about you? How do you feel when you give? Talk about it together, and we'll see you next week for a brand new show. See ya! Bye! Bye! It's time to play What the Lost Delivery! I don't know what that is. We're gonna play What 
What? What? Y'all leave that sorry. It's time to play What's in the Lost Delivery Box? I said the wrong thing. <laughs> That's good too. What's in the lost delivery box? I said the. <laughs> <laughs>